there's a political aspect behind this, uh, that the government's intention is to get as many uh, jabs in the arms as possible, as quickly as possible, and uh, I, that's not the right strategy. Vancouver senior Herb Silber is one of the people questioning Dr. Bonnie Henry's decision to delay second doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. He's anxious to get his first shot and says all seniors should be concerned. Silber wants the government to reconsider the timing. Good evening. BC's provincial health officer is defending her decision to extend the window between first and second doses of the COVID-19 vaccine to four months. She insists that delay will actually accelerate BC's return to normal. CTV Shannon Patterson has our top story. That's good. Didn't even feel it. Yeah. British Columbians who were scheduled for their second dose of Pfizer or Moderna vaccine have had their appointments cancelled. With data showing the first dose is 90% effective even in long-term care, Dr. Bonnie Henry has decided there is no need for anybody right now to need that second dose and that, that we needed to stop them as of when we made the decision yesterday. And so every dose today that would go to a second dose is now now going to protect an additional person in our community. Our nurses concerned? Yeah, you know, nurses are concerned. They are raising questions, asking what will be done for those uh, that, they, that have received their first dose, those that are waiting, uh, how long will they wait? Some leading medical experts disagree with Dr. Henry's decision to extend the window between the first and second doses to four months. We want to get... In the U.S., Dr. Anthony Fauci CDC, is sticking to the manufacturer's be... original guidelines. He did not recommend the extension of doses in the United States because he felt they had sufficient vaccine that they could um, use that sa same time frame. In Canada, the vaccine is in shorter supply and Dr. Henry wants to immunize more people so the virus has fewer hosts to attach to. She also disagrees with Canada's chief science advisor, Dr. Mona Niemer, who called extending the vaccine window a population experiment. It is a little bit unfortunate that the National Science uh, Advisor, um, who, you know, obviously was not involved in some of these uh, discussions and decision making um, and perhaps didn't understand the context that this decision was made in. Dr. Henry says by vaccinating more people earlier, restrictions on social gatherings can be lifted sooner. We now know from the real world data that we don't need to rely on second doses before we can lift some of these restrictions if we have enough people protected and we can stop that transmission in our communities. So that is our goal right now. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.